another beautiful work of art. Digital Hourglass, and in this video, I'm going to be addressing a f couple comments regarding some issues with some these, and maybe even the sun. People asking, "Where's the sun? Why is the sun not in it?" Everyone learns in preschool that the sun is up in the sky. And I'm going to be addressing all those concerns with this set. No, 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 back up here. Look at me. This set. obvious difference from this set from the other set is that this is a bifurcated set. Bifurcated pretty much means it comes in two halves. That allows me, it's a Big Mac, two halves of planet together and then a ring to make the planet look like it has wings. But just like the other set, this is 3D printed sandstone. As you can see, the pattern and coloration goes all the way through. So I just thought of something really important. Actually, two things. First of all, you don't want to play with them because you might drop them. You might be wanting to play with them, but the only thing they're amazing with is display. That's it. If you drop them, they'll break into seven pieces because seven. they're sandstone and they're really thin. Secondly, these are not common impacts. They're something far worse. They're water droplets. So what had happened is that I had them laying on the counter and I was all admiring them and I really liked them. But then I noticed these little white spots on them and that was because the water was getting on them whenever we were washing our hands from the sink and it pretty much just bleached out some of the colors so don't do that it's just some things to keep in mind now before i get to printing out the rings the instructions say to glue the two halves together of each planet i'm not gluing them together instead i am going to use magnets and i'm going to put the magnets on the inside of both halves so that way they can be able to pull apart and put together and also if y'all are going to use magnets Make sure that you know where the North and South Polarities go.
guys, here's the new set versus the old set. I'd really like you to comment down below which one you like better, and personally, I like the bifurcated set better, but I'm gonna go into the details now, so. So obviously the main difference is that the bifurcated set has the rings. So many people wanted the rings, I do too. We have them. We also got Pluto over here in the back, right there. And we got Eris in there. And we also got some of the moon, so I'm gonna... So we got the moon over here. We got Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto of Jupiter. We got Titan. We got Titania, which is really small. It's pretty much like the, the crumbs of the solar system. Then we got Triton over here, then Pluto and Eris. But you might still want to lean towards the bifurcated set as your choice. But the OG set actually has some cool things that you might want to consider. So obviously the gas giants with the OG set are more bulged at the equator, which is more realistic to how quickly they rotate in real life and they're wider. And I also like some of the colors that the OG set has. For example, Neptune is a lot more vibrant than the one the Vibricated set, which I really like. And the, the brown Jupiter, I like more than orange Jupiter because it just doesn't really go well in my, my brain. And Saturn's bands are more pronounced, but Uranus is just like, it's just bad. And in the left, we got the sun bright. It's lit up. You wanted it. So there you go guys, I tried to address every complaint that I saw or read about the old set with this new set about the rings, Pluto, the sun. And if you like my content, then please subscribe. If you like this video, like and comment down below. And sayonara, later.